Happy Vlogmas Day 3! Excuse the lighting right now because we're getting some backlight. <laughs> um, I'm getting ready for Haley's bridal shower today. Um, it's gonna be at the cottage, which is actually where my bridal shower was, but it's gonna be totally different than how mine was. Um, her theme is like a garden theme. Um, so our color palette is like a little bit more springish because it's like pinks and purples and stuff like that. I think it's gonna be so pretty. Um, there's gonna be like this really pretty flower cart that we're setting up for her with like roses and um, there's a there's another cart like um like where the food's gonna be that's super I think kind of Parisian and and garden like um, I'll show you guys of course when I get there I'll be getting there a little bit early with some of the girls to help my mom set up because my mom is doing a lot of it too. I'm just curling a few, I washed my hair this morning, but I'm curling a few pieces if you're wondering, just cause it seemed like super flat my hair today. So it needs a little extra boost. So I'm giving it a little more curl. Again, not the best lighting cause it's not that bright out today. Um, but here is my dress. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's like a velvety material and it's pretty long. There's my baby Holly. And then these are from Isaac Misrahi. Um, they're like kitten heels. Yeah, that's the look. It's like a little big and like right here. So it keeps bunching up. Hopefully it stays nice. This is the completed look. Just show you guys in the light. See how pretty the fabric is. It actually has like a little bit of like a sparkle threading to it. So pretty. It's from TJ Maxx though. So I can't link it for you. All right, just got to the cottage and I can already see they have a cute sign over there for Haley place is so cute. Just got back from the bridal shower and I'm really tired actually. <laughs> it was a really beautiful shower and we had a lot of fun, but I'm ready to relax for a little bit because getting that all together, as you could see, was so pretty. I mean, I loved the cart that the 
um, treats were on and everything that that was put together. My my mom did the majority of organizing, like how all that looked. And anyways, we were helping set up, and that cart was kind of a nightmare to keep like together, but it looked so pretty, so it was totally worth it. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys. So this was our menu: Caesar salad, dinner rolls, and how do you say that? Chianti braised beef. Rigatoni. Also, we got these adorable favors. And some people got pink, some white, some blue, and some purple. And I literally sat down at the seat that had pink. I didn't even purposely pick it. It just ended up being the right one because pink's my favorite. And then my mom also got cake pops for the um, shower. Obviously, there was other treats and yummy things there, but these are strawberry and vanilla. And yes, these are from my favorite girl on Instagram. I'll put her right here. She's amazing and she makes the best cake pops. Um, and actually, you may have been wondering if I was going to be doing an advent calendar. I do have an advent calendar over here, but it's not filled. And I don't really want to fill it for myself either this year. I'm just not feeling it. Um, but I'm going to be doing a 12 days of Christmas cake pops. And she created these amazing cake pop advent calendars. Me and her actually talked about it. And then it became like a whole thing. And then she had a pre-order for other people to get it. And I did post it on my Instagram and I told you guys about it. So hopefully you got one too, if you live in Arizona and you can do the advent cake pop calendar with me, but I'm not going to be starting it till the 12 days of Christmas. So you'll have to wait a little bit longer, but we have these two cake pops. I didn't try them yet. I didn't eat them at the shower. I just ended up bringing them home. Then we also could fill up some candy. I have a little bit of pretty pink, different pink candies in there. Not very full, clearly. I didn't want to overdo it because then I will eat them if they're here. <laughs> and then the beautiful roses, they did give everyone a bouquet of roses. My mom gave me um, an additional one because there was one left over and she asked me to take them. I was like, heck yes. So I have two beautiful bouquets and I'm going to put these in some water now. And my baby's waiting to play, I think. Well, honey. Look how gorgeous. There were four dozen roses because each pack was two dozen. They're stunning. I didn't really arrange them that beautifully because I really need to go start editing, but just thought I'd show you how beautiful they are. So I put my Christmas countdown in my bedroom bathroom, like my master bathroom, and still forgot to do it. So let's do it today for day two. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. There we go. Get back up there. I didn't hang it, so it's just kind of leaning on the counter. Oh my goodness, you guys, the bridal shower was so beautiful. My mom did a beautiful job. She really did the majority of getting that all organized so beautifully. We helped her put it together, like, you know, put some of the stuff together, like the cart and like organizing things. But really, she did the majority of it and she did a beautiful job. And Haley loved it. Um, and uh, she had a photographer there, so I didn't take a ton of pictures. For that reason, the photographer, I didn't want to get in her way and I took some photos, so I'll try to insert one or two here for you guys. But, um, yeah, so she had a photographer and everything turned out really good. And I think everyone had a, a lot of fun. Um, and now I'm just going to edit the vlog. I did actually go and have some pizza with my aunt. My aunt, great aunt Terry is here and my great cousin, or second cousin, Francesca. They're both here visiting and I just love having them here because it's just more family with us. And it really, when my aunt Terry is here with me, it always reminds me so much of my grandma and having her with me for the holidays. And so it's like having my, I'm going to cry. It's like having my grandma here with me too, you know? So it's just really special to get to spend time with her too. So I'm happy that I got to do that tonight. And now I'm just going to relax with my pup and edit the vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I did today and I will see you again tomorrow for day three. Look at this. I'm editing, and this is what she did. She came over and laid on me and was like, hey, belly rub action? <laughs> and her bone's right there, too. We'll see ya. Oh, yeah? What? Oh, bless you. It's 11 o'clock at night. I should probably be going to bed right now, but I just had to tell you guys that 
I'm seriously blown away by, I'm responding to your comments, some of your comments. I'm just blown away by how amazing you are and how thoughtful you are to me. And I'm very thankful, just so thankful for how kind you have been to me. Like these comments, especially on the, the I'm reading through the Vlogmas ones right now, but I was personally looking at some of these Thanksgiving um, ones when I talked about the separation, you guys have been just amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holly, I'm specifically coming on here to talk to you because she asked me on Instagram, Hey, how do I know like how long I've been subscribed to you? Well, here you go. Paul, we subscribed to me for eight years. Thank you so much. And this is so cool. Received one of the highest number of hearts for me because you comment a lot. So when you comment a lot, you get more hearts for me. So you're one of my top hearts hearts receivers, I guess, too. So I just wanted to shout you out too and just give all of you some love because I just appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm.